He says, we've tried to implement your payment schedule of 50% upfront, then 25%, 25% based on milestones and timelines. However, we haven't had any success with this and the clients have pushed back hard to get this upon signing off on the work. Aside from not working with these clients, how can you handle this pushback like this? Before I get into your question, Stuart, let me kind of educate everybody else on the payment terms that we would do. So this works basically when you're on a project basis and I'm gonna kind of give you the prefaces around doing a website project. So rather than doing the typical 50% up front and 50% at the end, we wanted to change it up just because this is what happens, right? You start working down a project and then you start waiting on the client to get you the information that you need, right? And it can be very, very frustrating. And so we wanted to kind of make sure that the cash that we started planning based on when we signed this client up, we could actually kind of do better projections in our performa and our cash flow reports and all that kind of stuff. So we changed up our payment terms to 50% up front, halfway through the project or at a certain date, whichever comes first, a quarter, and then the same thing at the end, at the completion or at the certain date, whichever comes first. Now, Stuart, to answer your question, what you may be missing out on in the very beginning is when you're talking to the client, asking them, you remember when you go to NBAT, right? The timing's the last part. When are they wanting this done? And they always have some kind of date. And you could say, cool, in order for us to hit this date, we'll need X, Y, and Z from you. Are you gonna see any problem for getting us the stuff that we need? Obviously, the prospect or the client's always gonna say, of course, we're gonna be your best client. We're gonna get you the stuff that you need when you need it, so there's no problem there. Cool, cool. So um, awesome, we can do that. So let me tell you how this is gonna work. We're going to start doing this, this, and we're gonna keep holding you accountable for the stuff that we need. And our payment terms are actually associated to this, and it's gonna help keep you on track. And so you start seeding it with them rather than just trying to put it in the contract where they don't notice it. Because when you actually go to them and say, hey, your next quarter payment's due, they're gonna be like, what are you talking about? No, 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 we're gonna pay you on work, okay? Now you're gonna say, well, you remember, you wanted to hold to this timeline. And the whole long way, you're educating them on, hey, we're still waiting on this, but the payment is going to be due in the next month. So that's how we did it, okay? You have to educate them and you can't just slide it into the proposal. And then some clients are not gonna do it. And if that's okay with you, then that's okay with you. Uh, most of the time we walked away from the table, but it all comes with educating them in the front end to avoid those hassles later on. And when we were going through the proposal with them, we'd educate them, we'd be like, hey, you have any problems with this? No, 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 we'll, we'll get you all this stuff. And when they say this in the contract, be like, well, because this could be a red flag to you. Let's say they go, well, I have a problem with this. Be like, well, you said you're not gonna have a problem with getting us the information. So what are you worried about? Do I need to worry about you not getting us the information on time? Because that could immediately tell you that this could be a bad client. Because if they said, well, we've missed all our other stuff in the past, they're probably not going to change and they're going to be a bad client. So if you like this episode of the Ask Swank 35 show, I want you to subscribe. I want you to comment wherever you are. If you're on iTunes, Skitcher, SoundCloud, YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is, subscribe below, um, comment below. I want to hear your questions. I want to hear your takeaways. I want to see what you guys are going to go do and go do that now. And don't forget about the live workshop coming up next month. Go to jasonswank.com slash live workshop and I will send you all the details about that. Until next time, later.